Okay. It's very windy today. Also very cold. Which probably means that I'm not gonna be spending all that much time outside. Ideally I would like to, but yeah, it's <laughs> it's a bit rough man. It's a bit rough. Welcome back though. I figured I welcome you back to these videos because like usually I just start and yeah that's it you know I kind of like that style but we'll see how this goes for a few more videos how I feel about it etc etc I hope you're good I hope you're cozy whoa I know I'm cozy and it's just just the shutter speed here because I am blown the fuck out I've been editing a couple Sunspots videos today over the past two days actually and well one is going out today actually as a matter of fact it's been live for 45 minutes so I hope you enjoyed it um, okay yeah this is gonna be interesting but yeah um, what was I saying? But yeah, I've been editing a couple Sunspots videos because I'm trying to like buy myself some time, you know, to get more of my other work done. Instead of, you know, like editing one video every two weeks, I'm trying to like edit as many videos as possible so that I don't have to do all that much editing, if that makes sense. And I noticed that like, I just, kind of drag you along in the video so to speak like you know i just start the video and you know that's it like i don't welcome you into a video or anything like that and i figured yeah let me just let me just you know say hello say hello hello <laughs> it's cold today man it's cold it's been raining on and off like the whole day so far and I mean, it's expected, you know, summer weather, it's raining, the wind is gonna be fresh as So, I'm not necessarily complaining about that, it's just the state in fact that, yeah, it's cold and I'm not looking forward to when the sun goes down. But the scenery that we have here today is gorgeous. Yes, it's gorgeous, see? It's gorgeous, it's gorgeous. Eh, what we are going to do now is, actually, Try to set ourselves as far back as possible. I'm thinking like I don't know, we got we got the mini tripod here. The mono tripod. Did I say mini? Oh my gosh. Just letting you know I haven't been in the cycle of shooting for a minute. But yeah, we got the mono tripod here today. And because it's summer, because it's summer, let me just do this real quick. out of focus it's fine but like because it's summer right the sun tends to like set closer to this mine dump here like right now the sun is here it's gonna be setting around here -ish. but like as we transition deeper and deeper into summer it'll slowly align itself with like that little dip there in the mine dump like you see that little thing there eventually at some point like say for example December time. I don't know how deep in December because I haven't really like documented sunsets all throughout December because I'm usually not around. But if I am, we'll be able to see like the most perfect, I want to say probably the most perfect phenomenon that you can probably like, witness in this entire town. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Woo! But for today, we're back on the trusty hilltop that's just outside my house. And what we're going to do is just, yeah, like I said just now, just set ourselves as far back as possible. But like not too far back because the further I get back, the lower in elevation I kind of get. Which kind of sucks. 
a little bit especially considering that it's windy so like mono tripod can go as high as I want it to go because it's gonna wobble and the one thing that you don't want with time lapse is an unstable camera because warp stabilizer does not help with that excited for this. I'm genuinely excited for this. I'm considering that the wind... Where is the wind blowing? Because like it's... the direction is like very... it's blowing behind me so yeah yeah I'm actually looking at my deck head right now. I'm thinking... I'm thinking we set up like around here-ish. contemplating and almost trying to like convince myself to not to be out here because I know how windy it gets on top of this little mountain hill top I like, just not calling it a mountain I live on a mountain but like not really it's not gonna be a I'm losing I'm digressing here but point is it was a good idea it wasn't the best idea to come out here on a day like this because there is no windshield up here like I'm getting raw dog by the wind and it's, it's just not nice it's probably not nice for you to hear because I'm probably fighting the wind right now so great day for us really it's a great day for content creation great day to be outside and try to get clean audio ha ah, ah. but hey we are you know in the business of trying things and learning from both mistakes, wins, L's, just everything, man. Everything. I'm gonna, yeah, let me set the camera down so I can set up on a tripod. Let's get this show on the road, baby. Hell yeah. I brought me a snack that I'ma devour today. A really good snack, yeah. Where that came from but uh, yeah let's let's try to like do the smart thing not have you fight wind you know while I'm up here let's secure the pockets because not that we have an expensive phone but we have a phone that's very much a hassle to fix when it's broken and like I said in the video that I was editing today, I'm not trying to go through the whole repair debacle because I usually have to go around like almost a month without my phone. And my spare phone is, well, yeah, out of commission. Like I don't have a spare phone anymore. So I have to be extra careful. I don't know why I just told you that, but we are in narration mode as I like to call it hmm. and yeah 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 I'm really trying to like use this little rock formation that I've set you behind to act as like some kind of windshield just so that you know hold on you can you can't even see me bro like, there we go yeah, cool. I'm not even gonna like extend. It's weird, man. Like the wind is coming from like such a this direction, but it feels like it's coming from overthinking things that are not in my control. Just make sure that that is nice and secured. 
How was your day, actually? Like, was your day good? I had a really productive day today. I had a productive weekend, actually. I'm not lie to you. I'm really just trying to get like more things done in a more efficient manner, you know, like thinking ahead in a way. Sort of like thinking in the future. Really trying not to like use that, I guess, terminology, but like, yeah, just thinking more so one or two weeks ahead, just so that I optimize my time a lot better. Like you really have to be very sensitive about how you spend your time, where you spend your time, how much of your time you spend, etc., etc. You know, and I'm just really trying to perfect that because time management is not one of my strongest traits i'll be very honest with you like my perception of time is broken um more often than not and i'm just really trying to get better at that you know just trying to get better at like specifically right now estimations you know like for even like small things around the house like say if i do laundry and i set the washer to be washing the laundry like say 45 minutes or something like that I want to be able to like time it in my head where it's like 45 minutes to wash 12 minutes to you know like spin or tumble dry and then you know probably like 30 minutes to an hour outside depending on how the conditions are you know for whatever load it is that I've washed to dry up completely so that I can like go back out again, take the laundry down, fold it, and put it away. I have no idea why I told you that, but... Well, I don't know why I specifically gave you that example, but, like, it's one of the weekly things that I, you know, like, get up to and stuff. And sunset is peaking, so... I'm gonna flip to the back so I can see what you're supposed to be seeing. Let's just see here. Get a little loose on the knobby knob. And let's see, where is our subject today? How far are we zooming in? Yeah, the rain clouds are coming in, bro. It's not looking cozy, bro. You can kind of see it on the screen right now, like towards the bottom right hand corner. It's already started raining, like in the distance. So. <laughs> I get the feeling that if I stay out here too long, I am going to get wet. So let's do the things that must be done. We'll see. I think I figured out the whole start stop thing. So yeah, I think we're ready. Woo! Let's go. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, that part. I can smell petrichor. I can smell the rain, which... If you don't know anything about nature, kids. It is about the best time to, you know, start making my way back home now. Because I'm not too confident in my camera's you know, waterproofing abilities. I know that it is like partially weather resistant, but I am not trying to test the extent <coughs> of that weather resistance. I don't think even have, uh, I don't even think it has like an IP certification, like IPX, whatever. I don't know. I know that my phone is IP57, I think, or something like that. <laughs> But I don't think that the M50 has an IP rating, so let's do the smart thing. Plus, it's like cold as fuck. To 
to just head back. Like, it was one of like the rare times where I sat through the whole time lapse, and I mean like the whole thing, you know, from start to finish. I did the whole start stoppy thingy that I've been doing recently. And I feel like I'm getting the hang of it, particularly in post. Like, like I said, like today, over this weekend, I've been trying to edit as many of these sunspot videos as possible. You know, because we're trying to buy ourselves time and all those nice things. And yeah, I think I figured out like how to transition from like a brighter time lapse or like a time lapse that's like getting dark to a time lapse that has a little bit more light in it. And you know, while I'm saying this, I'm also hoping that the audio, like the sound, the mic, is not crackling right now. Because if it is, then everything that I'm saying is kind of useless. To be quite honest, which is something that's really, really annoying. I remember like the first Sunspots video. A good three minutes of that video. You can't hear anything, you know, and I'm like, for that first three minutes, I'm literally just like explaining what the goal is, what I'm trying to do with this little series. And unfortunately, most of that is just the lost, you know. Which reminds me, actually, I'm gonna have to like explain again. Well, I kind of have, you know, on my social media. But the context that I've done it in is like assuming that you already know, you know, what's going on, essentially. You know, I kind of like alluded. Yes, that's the word I was looking for. I alluded to the purpose of this series and I didn't exactly explain it. And I feel like a lot of the people that are discovering the series probably just think that I'm just, you know, like out here <laughs> trying to catch sunsets, which is half true. Granted, it is half true. It's not completely false. But the main reason why I'm out here is really to get better at doing this, honestly speaking, to get better at talking to the camera, to get better at talking to the camera in public around people because there's one thing that you probably don't know about me that probably doesn't even come across in the videos is that I am a very shy person especially around people that I don't know you know in the context of introvert extrovert ambivert I am an ambivert but very much skewed towards introvertedness especially around people that I don't know or like situations where I'm not entirely comfortable you know and this series is kind of like a way for me to get over those jitters and just get me get myself to be more comfortable you know outside with the camera talking to said camera because if there's one thing that you know talking to a camera does especially in public it's okay i think this is an uber it looks like an uber he's moving like an uber because he doesn't seem to know where he's supposed to be going <laughs> i lost my train of thought but oh yeah if there's one thing that talking to a camera in public does is that it makes people stare at you essentially and like for a person like me that makes one extra nervous and that doesn't look too good on camera you know it looks extra awkward and that's just that's just not a good look it's just not a good look wow i said that i was gonna make a video and then i went and just explained it anyways i love that about me <laughs> but i feel like we did good today despite the circumstances it is a bit dark but from what i saw with the time lapse it's a very new never really had a time lapse like this before because I was sitting there expecting like it to get 
dark as it usually does but I think because of like the cloud cover and just the clouds in general acting like a light box in a way it had the opposite effect where the sky just stayed illuminated at least on camera that is which is something that I'm not necessarily complaining about to be quite honest but yeah, we're about to get to the house now so i hope you enjoyed today's video i certainly enjoyed making it for you thank you for watching it's definitely a lot of things you could have been doing but you're here watching me chase sunsets and i am grateful Then what we do now is take off the gorilla pod. Let's just swing these legs to the back. Oh, yeah. See, this is why we swing the legs to the back, cause then my lanyard gets caught and it does the twirlies, the twirlies, the twirlies. Oh my lord. But yeah, it like twirls around as I unscrew it from like the the thread at the bottom of the camera. And if I'm not careful, I have to re-screw it in a way. Just like undo the work that I did in order to, yeah, finish unscrewing it. <clears throat> I get the feeling that I should probably just like, just go down to base height because, oh, that's so pretty. But it suddenly got really dark and ominous. <laughs> the little tree you know like in the in the foreground there I just want to check something too like if I go auto ISO look how nice that is so dramatic I can't I kind of wish I could take a time lapse like this but it's not really conducive to what we're trying to do let's see So I know like once the sun peaks out of the clouds there, it's gonna be sick. It's gonna be so sick. But at the same time, I kind of want to get like, some of these other clouds that are coming in, like the rain clouds. So I think we're good here. Ish. It's a little bit more adjusties. Got it. Now time to reset all my settings. ISO back to auto. Um, F stops back to being as low as possible because we know once it gets dark, we're kind of fucked. You know when it comes to like lighting and shit. So it's just. La 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 This is probably like the best mood that I've been in all weekend Like it's been a pretty heavy weekend for me In terms of like mental health And all that other stuff I'll probably talk about it in another video But like today I'm just trying to Do what I love doing And hopefully Get this shit done Before I get it rained on 